I had you pegged all wrong. Ray of oneness piercing the solitude. Falling bodies in the ecstasy of flesh. Oh, I hate this guy. <laughs> He's weird. You don't like me to recite poetry, do you? No, thanks. Hey yo! Welcome back to You, Me, and the Movies. Tonight, we got a special request. Special request. Christine Patrick. Coming in hot. What are we watching? Peggy Sue got married. Seen the cover a million times. Yeah, Catherine Turner, Nicholas Cage. Never seen It's the one movie. of the few chick flicks that Christy enjoys. Christy likes a chick flick. Yeah. And so. this is it, huh? Yeah, well, her first choice was still Magnolias, but we've all seen, seen that. Seen that one, so. yeah. Have you seen this? Uh, uh, no, I have not. So it's the first time watched for both of us. Nick Cage. Yeah. So I'm excited. All right. Should be a good one then. You love chick flicks. It's right up your alley. I do love a chick flick, yeah. yeah. Well, should I, we, uh, one of the rare ones that I've not seen. Should we jump in and meet Peggy Sue and see who she's getting married to? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, Christy and Patrick, for selecting this movie. And if you want to be like Christy and Patrick... All you have to do is check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of our special request slots. You can also get early access, full income, turn access to pulls up, speak, watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram, so if you are, you know, doing the social media thing, you can do it with us. And if you're not doing the social media thing, you can just ignore it. What do we Yeah. You know? Exactly. Let's watch Peggy Sue Got Married. Here we go. This is my favorite intro. Oh, that beautiful, beautiful horse. Uh, that's a Pegasi? A, pe a Pegasi? Pegasus? Started as a horse, earned its wings. This is big Kathleen Turner during the... The 80s. The romancing, the stone days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's too bad with that. Um, that is true. I'll just leave that up to you. Wow, these, this intro is really doing a lot for our coloring. <laughs> Look, it's Dad. Oh no, I'll go broke. <laughs> You'll give away Mitsubishi giant screen television set. Oh, Helen Hunt. Mad about you. Twister. Yeah. I don't trust him. And I hate those commercials. Oh, it's about. not really a mirror. Yeah, her head's not moving. Yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah, I mean, I guess because you can't put a camera in a mirror, it'll be weird. Let me see. What do you think? <laughs> you are a very hip chick. I like it. Silver. I don't think I want to go. Mom. Everybody's just going to say, well, hey, where's Crazy Jolly? Lots of people are separated and divorced. I'm from the guy with the lowest prices in town. I feel ridiculous in this dress. I think I want a class reunion. It's like 25 years. Mama. Oh, God. Um, it's okay. Come on. <laughs> Baton twirler, you think? Is this good? Fine. Yeah, 25. Okay. It's an odd number to have a class reunion in 25. It's halfway to 50. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Ignore me. Four. Four? Four, yeah. Oh, Maddie, I'm so happy for you. Is that Jim Carrey? <laughs> He's not old enough to have a 25th anniversary. No. Or reunion in 1986. I didn't recognize you. Well, you look terrific. You look exactly the same. Honestly, none of them really look old enough to be 25 years out of school. <laughs> Doug Snow, Merrill Lynch. I read about that Cordex deal in Business Week. He looks old enough. <laughs> Madeline Hutton and Arthur Nagel were high school sweethearts. Married right after graduation, they're still together. How does it feel to have missed the sexual revolution? What? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say, we've had our own sexual revolution. Yeah. It's fine. Just have to... Uh... Think of men like houses and trade upward. She looks familiar. We just got married too young and ended up blaming each other for all the things we missed. You just should have left here years ago, like I did. It's not so bad. 
I've got two great kids. Well, maybe Jim Carrey's playing her son. Why would her son be there? Her daughter's there. He's as her a... as her date. Uh, the best thing about being a dentist: pure pharmaceutical grade. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sweet. Jim Carrey's playing like a forty-five-year-old. I guess like twenty. How old are you? 42. How old are you? Add five years. <laughs> Do you know, he's the only boy in high school I wish I'd gone to bed with. <laughs> the one that got away. That, the one that just didn't make it into her pants, apparently. <laughs> she didn't want to be with him. She just wanted to be with him. Richard? Yes? Would you like to dance? Well, of course I would. So are we through now? No. Good. From sniveling run to pompous ass in 25 years, that's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> Ooh, she's spicy. You know that the only time people like Dolores Dodge used to pay any attention to me was to laugh at me or insult me? Mm, sounds about right. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Oh, King. Charlie. 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 Nicholas Cage is also playing like 20 years older than he actually is at this point. The Appliance King is very popular. Is this going to be like a flashback movie? Why else would they have such young people playing such old characters? Yeah, but the reunion committee has selected a king and a queen. What a weird thing to do at a reunion. <laughs> it's going to be her, Charlie. I guess maybe that's something that happens. And gentlemen, I give you our queen, Peggy Sue Calcimono. Her dress matches his crown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You just danced with him. You can go stand up there with him. Don't embarrass him by not going up. That'd be so rude. I would have danced my way up there. Those bubble makers are not doing a very good job of making bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Crying does not seem like an appropriate response right now. Uh oh. She gonna go all carry on them all? I know, right? Is she gonna <laughs> kill everyone in that gym? Mom? Mom? I don't like strobe lights. Would you like your Twinkie now? It is a flashback. It's a flashback movie. That's why they're. Uh, I want to suck your blood. I also want to suck your Twinkie. Am I dead? No. You are the undead. Oh. I think it's time for your next class. They used Go to give Twinkies oh, when I'm you... I'm a little worried about the oh, side effects. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to back down. That is impressive double-jointedness. You passed out for a minute, that's all. Nothing to worry about. But how did I get here? She relive in her spring 1960 yeah, senior exactly. year. Yeah, exactly. what'd you do to your hair? We're taking you back to the nurse. Oh, Dolores, why aren't you giving blood? I can't, I'm too anemic. <laughs> We're going to take you home now. Oh, that's okay. I'm sure I can remember the way. She's got to go back in time. Ooh. It's wonderful spring rain. A lot of pretty classic cars. I love a 60s car. <laughs> that driver just like, you curbing it. That's how they used to park them, apparently. <laughs> so you're just meant to be a driver in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you later. Yes, let's keep in touch. So how does she get back to the future? It's like a Freaky Friday thing. She's just got to pass out again. Oh, okay. Who is it? Peggy? Peggy Sue? Come on in. I left the door open for you. Yeah, she just knocked to get into her own house. 
Oh, Chanel number five. It always reminds me of home. I would say this would be really trippy, but just come back to this exact same house. So. <laughs> Wouldn't be that different than it is now. <laughs> what is going on? And so we'd have like a big tube TV in the corner of the basement, but we have a big tube TV in the corner <laughs> of the basement. So. Mom said you're sick. You're never happy to see me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I have too many unresolved relationships in my life. Teenagers are weird. <laughs> I don't believe it. Look at that man. He never ages. <laughs> oh, don't eat any of the red ones. Why not? They're bad for you. They give you um, red lips. Is that back when the dye was poisonous or yeah. led to something? Something. People might still argue that today, but... No, they, they banned that red dye. They got a new one now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's like red dye number seven now. Um, I still eat the red M and M's. So okay, what's for dinner? Cream chip beef on toast with rutabaga is your father's favorite. Shit on a shingle. Girls, what is this out on the street? I'm gonna take what a look. Who left this out here? What is it? Well, she's on. drunk. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Wait till I tell Diane. Oh, Dad, you were always doing <laughs> stuff like that. You bought an Edsel. <laughs> <laughs> she schnockered. I had a tough day. <laughs> we can't afford a new car. Well, don't go for more. Easy. She gave blood at school today. She's a little lightheaded. That's this all. is not giving blood. This is drunk. <laughs> Dad, I never knew you had a sense of humor. Evelyn, put her to bed. Oh, she's gonna miss shit on a shingle. <laughs> Don't try to grow up so fast. <sighs> she's forty-two, going back to seventeen. It's a big change. Oh. Can I tell Charlie Peggy Sue you got drunk last night? I forgot about him. What am I gonna do? What's the matter, Peggy? Did you two have a fight? Sort of. About what? House payments. <laughs> <laughs> Baby! How do you feel? Why is he talking like that? What an interesting choice, character wise. Headache, huh? Headache, huh? Ugh. Some people talked in the late 50s, early 60s. It's not that I'm glad you were sick, but it just it gave me a chance to do some thinking last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know about what we said on Tuesday. What did we say on Tuesday? <laughs> we talk about seeing other people and you forget. Oh. I must have blocked it out. The police. Don't start crying again. What a prick. He wanted to see other people then and then I... And, uh, okay, so right after graduation we should warn start to see other people so that we can two we can comparison shop and then three settle down and get married i'll take you out now girlfriend why not break up now because we got the prom coming up she's gonna break up with them sooner hmm? it's gonna change your life <laughs> she's into it She's uninhibited. I love it. She's like, I don't give a shit. I'm 42. I do what I want. <laughs> it's kind of brilliant because, yeah, if you could go back. The knowledge you have now. Yes, you wouldn't give two shits. Right? Because you're going to see these people in, like, 25 years. Who cares? <laughs> There's a test. Yeah. Ooh. Except for. High school knowledge. Calculus. That doesn't come back. <laughs> I happen to know that in the future I will not have the slightest use for algebra. Oh, algebra. Still don't need to use that either. The struggle is that Santiago comes back 
with honor. Santiago comes back with... She should be good about with literature and English. It's Hemingway's ego trying to defend itself again, trying to prove he can still perform. He's the jock that she wanted to bang. Opportunities! Well, uh, we'll finish this discussion next week. Oh, he's a brooding, he's a, a brooding teen. Why does your father take inventory on Sunday nights? Hi, Peggy. Oh, it's poker night. Hi, Peggy. Ugh. I wanted to talk to you. It's really important. I'm not doing any tutoring this year. I'm too busy. No, it's not about that. Would you meet me after school, please? What's well, she going to ask Richard about? To go to prom? The thing is, if she changes the course of her life, she's not going to have her daughter that she's best friends with. A book. A book. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Very Ace Ventura. <laughs> the best damn baton twirlers I've ever seen. Whatever happened to baton twirling? They don't have that anymore. There's like a dozen girls twirling batons. My mom had a baton. She twirled a baton every once in a while, I think. They didn't have a team, though, in school. <laughs> I've been thinking about my three-year plan. I think it's totally unworkable. <laughs> it must have been delirious. <laughs> when I think about you going out with other guys, I feel... Rejected? Worthless? Typical egocentric dude. Like, I want to date lots of other women, but I don't want you to date anybody. That would be weird. Yeah. He's weird. He's kind of a dweeb. So, what do you want to talk about? I just wanted to ask you a question. Do you think time travel is possible? Oh. Relativity theory, that's Einstein's relativity theory. Uh, the idea of absolute time cannot be reasonably affirmed. Well, then we have Richard's burrito. What's that? That's my own theory based on a Mexican food called a burrito. I had it once when my parents took me to Disneyland. I know what a burrito is. <laughs> you see, I think that time is like a burrito in the sense that one part of itself will fold over and then it will just touch the other part. You can fill it with memories, with experiences, trigonometry, anything. Don't fill it with trigonometry. Yeah. Now, I, I want to tell you something, only you have to promise not to tell anyone else. I have come here from the future, from 25 years ahead. I think that you're probably crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a blind grandfather. You're going to invent this machine that reads books for the blind? How did you know about my grandfather? Because I'm telling you the truth. I read about your invention in a magazine. Popular mechanics? Must have been. <laughs> Named Neil Armstrong is going to be the first man to walk on the moon. July 20th, 1969. That's six years ahead of schedule. Yeah, it's a space race. We had to beat the Russians there. You look great for a course. I'm serious. To give me the creeps. Here. Well, am I dead or not? There's one way to find out. You gotta die. Wait. Okay, there's a fire truck. If you're dead, it'll pass right through you. Okay? Oh, Just let's not risk it. Good call. Good call. Worst test possible. <laughs> it's a horrible idea. <laughs> Very nice pieces. So, thank you. Well, I'll take them to the shop and have the appraisal ready next week. She's selling her jewelry? I'm voting for the Democrats this year. You know how your father feels about Democrats? That was a poll taker. No. Her dad spends too much money. Her mom has to sell things to make up. Different? Kind of sounds like our life. You buy all the things, I gotta sell things. You know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't sell anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Peggy, what's up? It's Grandma. I can't talk. Grandpa died. I love her so much. And I haven't seen her in so long. Did Grandma die her senior year? Or some time, but yeah. gosh, it'd be weird to hear your grandma's voice. Huh? Yeah. It's Charlie pressuring you to do things you don't think you should be doing. What do you mean? <laughs> Peggy, you know what a penis is. <laughs> Stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay
stay <laughs> away from it. Make her love me, okay? Feed me, charge me. Who is that? No idea. Think he killed that moose? No. Uh, Charlie, could I have a word with you? Something wrong, sir? Oh, no, no, no. Not, not a thing. I just like to Keep your penis you. away from her. You know what a penis is. <laughs> Keep it away from my daughter. <laughs> Charlie, you may have noticed that Piggy Sue has been acting a little bit strange lately. Uh-huh. The juvenile delinquent. Out. Why I ought to. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, sir. What movie came out in the 60s that... Why I oughta... Three Stooges? Probably. No, they were earlier than that. In the past two years, I've been pleased to note that you and Mrs. Kelcher have provided your sacred trust with upbringing the woman that I plan to take off your hands. <laughs> Mom, I don't feel like going to a party. Don't feel or not feel, you accepted this invitation. Maddie's one of your best friends. I baked the Rice Krispie Squares. Rice Krispie Squares in the 60s? Yeah. I asked my mom. They made... If she remembers Rice Krispie Squares as yeah. a kid. Marshmallows and Rice Krispies. My mom makes the best Rice Krispie treats. The best. Show her a good time. But for heaven's sake, restrain yourself. Of course. <laughs> Oh, I got tickets for Fabian on your birthday. You like him, right? Fabian. That's the guy in our car. That's the guy in our, on the, the visor. Yeah. Restrain yourself, sir. I think that pitching wins pennants. The Tigers have got four 20 game potential. You'd be surprised at how many girls in school aren't virgins. Like, like who? Don Mossy, Frank, Larry, Jim Bunny, and Paul Foytag. <laughs> Those are the pitchers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of when I was in high school. I was going to say, you honestly could be the Jim Carrey of that group. <laughs> when you were in high school, as thin as you were in high school, you had Jim Carrey's face. Yeah. Just kind of goofy, you know? Like absolute zero. A little different. That was the boy band of the sixties. <laughs> yeah. You were just the boy band of the early two thousands. Hey. Who needs physics when we've got chemistry? Good hey, one. Put on some make out music and turn off the lights. Ah. You know what a penis is. Stay away from it. <laughs> you know the first dances were rituals. Like right. Ew, he's trying to get in your pants right now. Oh, it makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> uh. What was that? She grabbed it. Oh. You're supposed to stay away from it. Jeez. Yeah. She's a bit more experienced mentally. This is true, yeah. She's not a virgin in her in her mind anymore, huh? <laughs> you really love me, don't you? Do you know I do? I even wrote you into my will. You're 18, you don't have a will. I think it was a joke. <laughs> you want to have intercourse? Isn't that what you want to have? What time is it? Holy cow. Mr. Dancing is a fertility rituals. Doesn't Lucky Chucky want to come out? Huh? <laughs> Your throbbing thrill hammer, your thing. <laughs> what 
is this? What the hell is going on, Peggy Sue? <laughs> One week you say if you love me, you won't. The next week you say if you love me, you will. That's a guy's line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Save it, woman, humiliator. He wasn't prepared mentally. Do you have to be? Because he didn't think it would be, be possible. Do you, think, do you have to be as a man? As a teenager, maybe. The stimulus is there. I was very impressed with what you said in English class today. Gilfan's okay, except that he thinks Hemingway's great literature. The most overrated writer of the century. I mean, man, he is the perfect American author. Jack Kerouac doesn't have to kill a bull to have something to write about. I mean, man, he's out there burning, feeling, grooving on life. Honestly, the one Kerouac book I read, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to like it. Hey, man. I'm a hip chick. Yeah, he's like the 1960s hipster, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. This guy's on a motorcycle? Apparently, with a blanket on it, too. This is great reefer. Mm -hmm. It must belong to Beth. I found it in my dress. It's really old. It travels well. She found it in her dress, so is it... it must belong to Beth. No, She's it... wearing her friend's dress. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to write. I'm going to check out of this bourgeois motel, push myself away from the dinner table, and say, No more jello for me, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Ray of oneness piercing the solitude, falling bodies in the ecstasy of flesh. Oh, I hate this guy. <laughs> He's weird. You don't like me to recite poetry, do you? No, thanks. It's called tenderness. I couldn't sleep. Oh, God. <laughs> Red. Razor shreds of rat puke fall on my bare arms! What a weirdo. <laughs> so you don't want to hear my poem? No. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I'd really like to stick my penis in you. <laughs> Charlie's gonna be pissed. Did they? They did. Uh, you're talking to It was definitive to Vorjai. You'll like it, I kid you not. Records at a, an appliance store, huh? Charlie, by last night. Hush. Hush, baby, hush. Girls must go through that stuff, too. I don't know. Maybe my dad's right. Teenagers are nuts. Yeah. I'm a grown woman with, with a lifetime of experiences you can't understand. Yeah, girls mature faster than guys. <laughs> <laughs> but last night, I was the one who put on the brakes. Because nothing else matters. Because you're my baby. And I love you. He thinks he's never said to her before. <laughs> These are the choices, okay? Microwave ovens. Pocket calculators. Walk-a-mans. <laughs> walk Oh, and huge radios. I mean, for some reason, everything else gets tiny, but portable radios get enormous. Huge, enormous radios. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Yes. Do you have pantyhose? Pantyhose? Why, Richard? Oh, Mrs. this Ooh. is lingerie. <laughs> They don't have it. They've never even heard of it. Isn't that wonderful? Wait, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the wave of the future. A pantyhose. She's making pantyhose. I mean, who needs satellites when I got Dolores' mouth? <laughs> she does more than talk with her mouth. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, Maddie, would you grow up? Tongue kiss as a means of genital stimulation is widely practiced and has much to commend it. <laughs> you memorize the whole book? She memorized it. <laughs> K 
Peggy, so come on. What's with you and Michael? Yeah, come on. He's so cool and mysterious. Well, he's interesting. Underneath that rough exterior lurks the heart of a true poet. Big, big dick. Yeah, but I always thought that you were going to marry Charlie. And I'd marry Arthur. We all live on the same street and barbecues every Sunday. It's going to spoil everything if you and Charlie break up. That Michael Fitzsimmons doesn't look like the barbecue type. <laughs> I just had one date with him. I'm not going to marry him. You promise? <laughs> you promise? Oh. Wait a no, I mean some, just the girls, like a, a slumber party, huh? Aren't we a little old for that, Peggy Sue? Sometimes you're so immature. <gasps> she wants to have a girls' night. Mm-hmm. Why is he being so weird? I don't know. He's trying to creep her the hell out because it's going to work. He wants to suck her blood. Oh, he's going to kill her? <gasps> he's going to try to kill her. Because he's distraught because he heard about Michael. Hey, what are you doing here? Let's go down to the basement. What the fuck? When you dropped me off last night, I just didn't feel like going to bed. And, and I ran into Michael and went for a ride. I did I had a miserable time tonight because of you. Bummer. I've got the car. I'm the lead singer. I'm the man. You. I want you to be happy. But no, I will be happy if I have you. I love you. No, we just can't live together. And you went off with that bimbo, Janet. What are you talking about? Who is Janet? <laughs> I am trying to save you years of frustration, of waiting for that, oh. that big break. No, oh. that big disappointment so you can oh. blame me for the rest of your life. That type of music's not going to be popular for very much longer. No. I'll show you. I'm gonna be just like Fabian. He's so, he's so slimy and self-centered. You don't like Fabian? No, Charlie. Oh. I don't know who Fabian is. <laughs> so her where her mom hides her cigarettes. Must be. So who do you think Peggy Sue gets married to? I don't know. Walter. Walter? <laughs> as soon as school is finished, we move to Utah. Utah? I thought you'd be going to Paris or New York. Or, I mean, what's in Utah? Rita. I met her last summer. She's cool. You really dig her. All right. And you two can take care of the chickens to support us. I can't do that. <laughs> Why not? Polygamy's legal in Utah. I'm allergic to chickens. Ew. <laughs> Polygamy's legal in Utah. We owe it to ourselves to fuse together. At least one more time. Mm. That's a great line. You are going to be a terrific writer. <laughs> Dogs of lust unleash Charlie. Of memory. Yes. They announced him. Peggy Sue still stuck on treble without a cause. <laughs> yeah. Can we split now? Yeah, see you later, dude. He's gonna be the next Elvis. <laughs> no, he's not. So, Mr. Wilkins, new client? Uh, I'm sorry, Charlie. Um, it, I don't think so, you know. Uh, it happened, but not with you. Ouch. Yeah. He seems pretty devastated. So not the next Elvis. No. Not even the next Fabian. What are you doing here? He's like, well, I'm trying to find a place to go party. <laughs> hey, Elvis. Hi, how are you? Hi, guy. Elvis is no. dead. That's Ajax. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I wrote a song for you. What song did she steal? Because I want to help you. And 
It'll be a hit, I promise. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's from the future. Would you just take a look at it? Come on. Is it Peggy Sue got married? <laughs> matter princess lost your print you know Dolores there are a lot of things I could say to you but you're just not worth the effort ah! oh. poor Charlie I got pregnant when I was 18 that was why we had to get married tomorrow's my birthday I have to get out of here you change your destiny and marry me I don't want to marry anyone, Richard. Goodbye. Wait, wait. Did she ever give him the pantyhose? I don't know. I don't think so. And I did some work on your song. You know, it's not half bad for your first try. Of course, I changed all the yes to ooze, but listen to this. She loves you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You love me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, the, the Beatles, Beatles song? Yeah. I won't be here. Why? I want to go see my grandparents. Oh. Goodbye, Charlie. She's going to meet her. She's going to her grandma's? Mm hmm. You know, Peggy, your mother said you had a dream that I'd die. I wish she hadn't have told you that. I'm not afraid. I know exactly when I'm going to die. <laughs> Grandma? Grandpa? I want to tell you something. Did her grandma have the same experience? Right now, you're just browsing through time to choose the things you'll be proud of. Things that last. I'm proud of my children. Then Charlie's your path. Grandpa. You know, when you and grandma are gone, the family's gone. I don't ever see the cousins anymore. That your grandma Strudel has kept this family together. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always wondered what went on those lodge meetings. He won't tell me. What does grandma think you do at these meetings? Stag movies and poker. <laughs> <laughs> has this ever worked before? Uh, the last time was 600 years ago. She went to get their help from her grandparents because they know. I don't know. Woo woo stuff. <laughs> the Moo Lodge, not the Moose Lodge. <laughs> Our lodge was founded by a time traveler. We're going to send you back home. That's right. Uh, interesting. <laughs> this is a weird club. Sure is. You don't have a funny hat on. It's not the same. Well, you do. My hat's not funny. You ought to do it. Look with favor upon us as we witness the regeneration of spirit. What do they do on nights when they're not sending people back in time? Stag movies and poker? <laughs> this is never going to work. It's going to work. Is it going to work? Yes. She's gone. Oh no. Well, the girl's gone. Let's play cards. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's not so sure. He's like, Does that work? I want to marry you. Don't be crazy. I may be crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to marry you twice. I'm sorry. Here. It's a birthday present. It's the locket. I'm gonna go stay in my car. Charlie? The locket is magic. Scott and Beth. Where did you get this? Who are Scott and Beth? It's you and me. You know that. Oh, Charlie. Oh, I do love you. Oh, God, she's so fucking wishy-washy, isn't she? Jesus. It's familiar to me. <laughs> I want this to be forever. 
Oh, she's going back? Yep. On her way back. Little Charlie Lovin's all she needed. Give you some medicine. What happens if and you're going to be okay? Was a very rare problem with the rhythm of your Do you think her going to the past changed anything, or was it all just a dream? I bet it changed something. I bet those pantyhose come come into play here. <laughs> you look like you haven't slept in days. You look so old. But happy. <laughs> and here's a book by that guy in high school, Michael Fitzsimmons. He dedicated it to you. <laughs> it happened. Yeah. I would cut my right arm off for another chance. No, please. I, I need some time. Oh, geez, wishy washy again. She's got to process what she just went through. I'd like to invite you over to your house for dinner on Sunday <laughs> with your kids. I'll make a strudel. Yeah. Strudel is what keeps the family together. <laughs> yeah, we use more teddy ways. on his ass. It's right there. Again, fake mirror shots. Why? <laughs> why are we doing this? The camera would be in the mirror. I, why even include the mirror? What purpose the, does that serve? The movie is like going through a mirror back into time. A mirror does not represent time well. It can though. It's a reflect. You look at yourself. You're looking at your reflection. It's a reflection of. I, yeah. Oh, it's, like it's not good though. Not. Good. Jeez, you just don't like poetry. <laughs> I we she every just looked at a reflection of her life. That's what the whole mirror shots are about. I went through a poetry phase just like everybody else, but. Oh, you did. Who was your favorite poet? I don't remember. Yeah. I never went through a poetry phase. So there you go. Yeah. I have an affinity for rhyming i do like rhyming things so you do mm-hmm. i've never noticed no no i don't think i've ever heard you do a rhyme okay yeah. anyways all right peggy sue got married it was, it was a fun little yeah what'd you think it was good yeah yeah we never met, met her son no we sure didn't. i was hoping he was like pop in and it'd be like michael that'd be weird and it if he was the firstborn and she had him when he was 15. Oh, yeah, gross. Yeah, and it looks like, like ugh. That'd be weird. That would be not ideal. <laughs> she okay. was so wishy-washy throughout the whole thing. Yeah, well, she didn't want... The I thought he had. was I thought he was wishy-washy, but no, they were just equally wishy-washy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was just trying to figure out what the hell was her, her deal. No, he just wanted to... Be a rock star? Be a typical man and have lots of women and... Okay. I don't know. In that one scene he did anyways. The very beginning. And he wanted to see other people. Yeah. Lots of other people. Just for three years, I mean, right. th they would get back together and get married. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. It's so... I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was fun. A young Jim Carrey. A little supporting role. Yeah. Doing some acapella singing. That was funny. Nicholas Cage doing a voice. Oh, so weird. Such a weird. Peggy Sue, I love you. It's so, so, <laughs> such an interesting choice yeah, this for be like, Cage. That's what his voice would sound like if he didn't smoke for the last 25 I years or something. I don't know. It was very bizarre, though, wasn't it? Maybe it's like, this is what I sound like in high school. I'm going to talk like that. <laughs> I don't think anyone <laughs> sounded like that in high school. I did. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to take, like, a dark turn and, like, Michael was going to be, like, some psycho killer. That was... That was Did, oh, you felt, felt like it was... You yeah. watched too many horror movies. I I yeah. <laughs> she wanted to sleep with this guy that was her... The man that got away and then like, she spends that night with him Jason. and then he turns into some, like, <laughs> creepy stalker. And, yeah, that would be... And Charlie has to save her from him or something like that. Mm, interesting. Yeah. That would have been a different story altogether, wouldn't yeah. it have been? This was more lighthearted. Yeah. What was the deal with her grandpa's club? Though? I don't know. Like, I liked it, though. I liked it. It was like a play on like the, the Shriners and the Moose Lodges and all that kind of stuff. It's like and Moose like, Lodge meets... Um, oh, what are the guys that wear the funny hats? It's not the Shriners. It's the... The Shriners, the Shriners wear, wear hats. Fun, funny hats. But 
um, Freemasons. It yeah. was like Freemasons Almost meets like... Moose Lodge meets, yeah. Secret. Like a combination of all the Secret lodges. Society cult. Yeah. <laughs> that knew about time travel. Yeah. Hasn't happened in 600 years. <laughs> it's pretty funny. The way her grandma started talking to that night, too, was like, did her grandma go through the same thing when she had her 25th They anniversary? were very open yeah. and accepting grandparents, oh, weren't they? had a lot of life experiences. Yeah. So, they understand. Grandparents are always understanding like that. What was your favorite part of Peggy Sue Got Married? Hmm. What was your favorite part? Probably the acapella group. Of course, that would be yours, yeah. The cars. I liked the yeah, cars. Like all the, the nice, pretty 50s cars. Yeah, 50s, 60s cars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do you want to have a car from that era? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. No airbags. No airbags, I'm no seatbelts. Seat <laughs> <laughs> Big old bucket seats. Yeah. Uh, bench seats. Bench not, seats. Not bucket seats, bench seats. Yeah. You could fit as many people as you want in that front seat. A lot of easy to cuddle on a bench seat. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. What should people comment on after Peggy Sue got married? Favorite high schooler. Favorite high schooler? And Peggy Who's your Sue favorite character. classmate of Peggy Sue's? Yeah. yeah. I liked how Richard wanted to marry her. I know. Change her destiny. So sweet. Marry me. It's the only way we could change your <laughs> destiny. So. Yeah, let us know what you liked about Peggy Sue got married. And did how much else did she change? We never really got to see. Other I don't. Than the I book. know. I wish we could know if what yeah. else changed there. Yeah. Hopefully the pantyhose Let thing worked out. Let us know your out, you know? best guesses for what else changed. Maybe she's got some secret partnership with Richard. She's, she's like the rich. the Spanx lady. Yeah. She's like Richard's the like, original I found the Spanx, you Spanx made lady. <laughs> here's the the contract I wrote up in in your here's honor. your patent. <laughs> Let us know your guesses from what else Peggy Sue changed with her time travel. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for another movie. And thank you, Christy and Patrick, for selecting a, a new one. Yeah. And if you want to be like Christy and Patrick, get your own special request. Check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of the special request slots. You can also get early access, full income, and access to polls. I'll just pick watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.